Have you ever pondered whether supposedly extinct creatures still roam the earth unseen and undiscovered? This question, as eerie as it is intriguing, is the heart of our exploration today. We're delving into the captivating world of extinction and the tantalizing possibility that some creatures may have slipped through the cracks of time, persisting in the shadows of our modern world. We'll be touching on the enigmatic allure that this idea holds, the blend of scientific possibility and legend that makes it so irresistible. This video will take you on a journey through historical accounts, unearthing tales of alleged sightings of creatures thought to be long gone. We'll be examining the evidence, the myths, and the lingering questions, looking for signs of life where we've been led to believe there is none. So strap in, hold your breath, and open your mind. Prepare to embark on a journey through time and across continents, as we unravel the mysteries of creatures that may have cheated extinction. History is replete with tales of creatures that have seemingly disappeared, only to reappear when least expected. Let's dive into the annals of the past and unravel the enigmatic stories of those animals long considered extinct, but who've made startling comebacks. Our first port of call is the mysterious tale of the Coelacanth. This fish, looking as if it swam straight out of a prehistoric era, was believed to have vanished from our oceans more than 65 million years ago. Yet, in a surprising twist, a living specimen was found off the coast of South Africa in the 20th century. This discovery sent waves of excitement through the scientific community, turning previously held beliefs about extinction on their heads. Then, let's set sail to the land of the rising sun, Japan, where the tale of the Honshu wolf unfolds. Once roaming the Japanese archipelago, this wolf was officially declared extinct in the late 19th century. However, there have been numerous accounts from locals who claim to have seen this elusive creature keeping the mystery alive. Our journey wouldn't be complete without a visit to the dense forests of Tasmania, home to the infamous Tasmanian tiger. Believed to have become extinct in the early 20th century, there have been countless reported sightings ever since. Each account teases the possibility of this carnivorous marsupial lurking in the shadows, out of our sight, but not out of existence. And who can forget the iconic ivory-billed woodpecker? Once abundant in the southeastern United States, it was thought to have disappeared in the mid-20th century. Yet scattered reports of sightings keep the hope of its survival alive, a testament to nature's tenacity. These tales from history, full of mystery and intrigue, challenge our understanding of extinction. They make us question, are these creatures really gone? or have they simply managed to elude our detection? While these historical accounts offer a glimmer of hope, could there be recent sightings that strengthen the case of these hidden survivors? In our modern world where every corner seems to be explored, could there still be creatures lurking in the shadows unseen and undocumented? This question leaves us on the precipice of discovery, teetering on the edge of known and unknown. But what if the unknown is not so unfamiliar after all? Consider the Tasmanian tiger or thylacine, a creature that allegedly breathed its last in the early 20th century. Yet intriguing reports have emerged from the wilds of Australia of encounters with a beast resembling this supposedly extinct marsupial. Sightings describe a large dog-like animal with a stiff tail and carrying stripes over its lower back, strikingly similar to the historic descriptions of the thylacine. These accounts have fueled expeditions and research, attempting to validate these claims and perhaps rewrite the extinction narrative of the Tasmanian tiger. Then there's the tale of the ivory-billed woodpecker, a majestic bird once a common sight in the forests of southeastern United States. Despite its official declaration of extinction in the late 20th century, whispers of its existence continue. Bird watchers and enthusiasts report hearing its distinctive call and seeing its unique flight pattern. These sightings have spurred scientific interest, leading to comprehensive searches in the dense forests, hoping to catch a glimpse of this elusive bird. But as we delve into these accounts, we must tread carefully, balancing hope with skepticism. Are these sightings an indication of survival or are they merely misidentifications, wishful thinking, or even hoaxes? Could these creatures have survived unnoticed or are they simply echoes of a past we are reluctant to let go? Science has yet to provide concrete proof of the continued existence of these species. Despite the tantalizing hints and anecdotal evidence, no definitive physical evidence has been produced no clear photographs, no indisputable DNA samples. These sightings, while intriguing, leave us with more questions than answers. Could there be a scientific explanation for these encounters? In the end, the line between myth and reality remains blurred, a testament to the enduring mysteries of our natural world. Scene script. 
science often finds itself at odds with tales of the extraordinary, but could it offer some insight into our quest for the supposedly extinct? As we traverse the boundaries of known and unknown, we often find science standing as our dependable compass. It's through the lens of scientific inquiry that we can scrutinize the whispers of creatures that are believed to have vanished from our world. Now let's delve into the scientific theories and research that surround these elusive beings. A fascinating concept that emerges in this context is the idea of Lazarus species. This term is used to describe animals that were once thought to be forever lost to extinction, but were later discovered alive and thriving. These creatures, like the colacanth or the Lord Howe Island stick insect, seemingly rose from the dead, challenging our understanding of extinction and survival. These Lazarus species provide tantalizing evidence that some creatures might have slipped through the cracks of our scientific knowledge. They invite us to reconsider our understanding of extinction and to entertain the possibility that some supposedly extinct species might still roam hidden corners of our world. But what makes these Lazarus species so elusive? To answer this we must consider the vastness and complexity of our planet. Earth's diverse ecosystems from thick jungles to deep oceans harbor countless species, many of which remain undiscovered or poorly studied. It's entirely plausible that some creatures have managed to evade our detection, living out their lives in secluded habitats. Moreover, science is continually evolving. New technologies and methodologies allow us to explore previously inaccessible regions and to detect life in ways that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. Who knows what secrets these advancements might unveil in the future? However, it's crucial to remember that science is a tool of probabilities, not certainties. While it can suggest the possibility of hidden existences, it cannot conclusively prove them until tangible evidence is found. Science might not have all the answers yet, but it certainly adds another layer of intrigue to our exploration. As we continue our journey, Let's keep our minds open to the thrilling possibilities that lie at the intersection of science and the supernatural. Our journey across time and continents has led us to some fascinating tales and intriguing scientific insights. But what have we truly learned about these elusive creatures? We have ventured deep into the realm of the unknown, challenged our understanding of extinction, and unraveled the mysteries of creatures that might still roam our world. We've dissected historical accounts, pondered over recent sightings, and scrutinized scientific inquiries. All these elements have painted a complex picture, one that blurs the line between myth and reality. Our quest began with questioning the very concept of extinction. We learned that it's not always as clear-cut as we might think. Some creatures, believed to have vanished, might still persist, hidden away in remote corners of our world. The calicanth, a prehistoric fish thought extinct for 65 million years until it was rediscovered in 1938, serves as a shining example of this. We then delved into historical accounts of creatures thought extinct but allegedly sighted. Tales of the thylacine in Australia, the ivory-billed woodpecker in the United States, and the Japanese wolf in Japan remind us that while these accounts may be tinged with folklore, they cannot be dismissed outright. From there, we ventured into the intriguing intersection of science and the supernatural. We examined how advancements in technology and DNA analysis offer new ways to explore these mysteries. We've seen how these tools can validate some sightings, debunk others, and ultimately help us better understand our world and the creatures that inhabit it. Finally, we've immersed ourselves in the enduring allure of the unknown. The thrill of discovery, the allure of mystery, the possibility of encountering a creature thought lost to time. These are the elements that fuel our fascination and drive our exploration. As we continue to explore our world, we may yet stumble upon creatures thought lost to time, and perhaps, just perhaps, extinction isn't always the end of the story.